You can take the girl out of Korea, but you can't take the Korea out of the girl. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you are watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show, so we're gonna eat together and we're gonna chat. And if you guys enjoy eating shows, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And today, guys, we are eating, oh my god, I am so excited. I made some sundubu ramen. Sundubu is soft tofu. It's extra soft tofu and I made extra soft tofu ramen. Apparently this is like trending in Korea and I'm sorry but I have been doing this for a long time. Okay, did I start this? I don't know. I did do a recipe video on this. It's like so easy. I did make it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more special. That'll be linked down below if you guys are interested and I cannot wait to dig in. Oh my god, I am so excited. So this is basically like instant noodles with extra soft tofu. There's some zucchini. There is some king oyster mushroom. Mm, my God. Oh, I also have some kimchi. Vegan kimchi recipe will be linked down below. I'm just gonna dig right in, guys. Oh my God. So this is Korean instant noodles. And yes, there are vegan versions of Korean instant noodles. Ooh. This is like a mixture of um, ramen and sundubu jjigae. Guys. Mm. So this is extra soft tofu. It's definitely one of my favorite types of tofu because it is just so it's so soft and it goes so well with like any sort of soup. So in Korea, we have something called sundubu jjigae, which is extra soft tofu stew. I do have a recipe for that on my channel, but this is basically kind of like a combination of ramen and extra soft tofu stew. Oh my God. Just have a little bit of both. Mm. But like I said, guys, I've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Because usually Korean people, they'll put like eggs in ramen. But instead of eggs, I put extra soft tofu. This is gonna be a short mukbang, guys. Mm. 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 So there's zucchini and king oyster mushroom. good guys this is the ramen of the future okay so if you can't find extra soft tofu just use soft tofu i mean it's not really that different it's just slightly softer Ramen is like my favorite guilty pleasure food. Mm. It is so delicious. Especially Korean ramen. Mm -hmm. This would be like the perfect hangover soup. Korean people like to eat like 
really spicy noodle soup. That's like my hangover food. <laughs> you can take the girl out of Korea, but you can't take the Korea out of the girl. <laughs> oh my god. So good. Guys, it's so good. Mm. I wish I had rice. Usually Korean people, we eat the ramen. And then with the leftover soup, we put some rice in there and then we eat it with the rice. Mm. But I don't have any cooked rice. So sad. No, are the noodles ending? I should have made two noodles. <sighs> mm. I do sometimes wonder how many packages of noodles I can eat. Mm. Like how many... Packages of instant noodles. Hmm. Should I try it one day? The thing is, I don't want to like purposefully eat so much. Hmm. I mean, I can definitely eat two packages ah, of noodles. But can I eat three? Probably. <laughs> Would it be enjoyable? Hmm. I think two would be enjoyable. Three might be pushing it. I really wish I had rice. This is too short of a mukbang. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I really love adding the um, zucchini and the king oyster mushrooms. It adds like so much more texture and like, oh, it's so good. The thing with food is like, I feel like half of it is like texture. <laughs> Maybe not half, but a lot of it's texture. Like, extra soft tofu, for example. I mean, it really has very little taste. But it has like, that really, pleasant, soft, custardy texture. And that's what makes it so good to me. Mm. Same with like certain types of mushrooms. I feel like it's more about the texture than it is about the taste. Like king oyster, for example. Again, doesn't really have too much of a taste, but it's that like chewy texture that gets me. Mm. Same thing with the gnocchi mushroom. Mm. Oh my god. I'm supposed to go for a run after this. Mm. 
my god. Oh my god, that's so good. Guys. Ooh. I think that may have been the fastest mukbang I've ever filmed. It just hits the spot, you know? Anyway, what was I saying about texture? Oh yeah, so you know how like another example of texture over like taste would be like enoki mushrooms. When I was younger, I did not like mushrooms that much. Um, now I love mushrooms, but when I was younger, I really didn't like mushrooms, but I loved enoki mushrooms because I really like the texture and because it has like very little flavor, like it doesn't have that like mushroom flavor. That's why I enjoyed it, okay? So yeah, it's kind of crazy how some foods, it doesn't really matter about the taste, it is much more about the texture. And it could be the other way around when something has like a really unpleasant texture, no matter what the taste, like it's, it's just not pleasant. Anyway, you guys, that was my uh, Sundubu Ramen Mukbang or Extra Soft Tofu Ramen Mukbang. It's so good. It's so delicious. I highly recommend doing this, uh, making a delicious Extra Soft Tofu Ramen. It's not very healthy, okay? But you know what? That's okay. Once in a while, it's so comforting and it's so delicious. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I have an entire playlist with my mukbang videos, which I will link down below if you guys are interested. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.